Hi, I want to talk to you today about the Kyle Rittenhouse case and what the verdict will mean for self-defense. Now, I don't know if any of you agree with me or disagree with me. That's fine. That's what this country was built on. But let's talk about the self-defense. If you don't have a right to defend yourself from someone attacking you, then all self-defense is out of the window. So, let me give you an example. The prosecution in this court case lied numerous times. Even if you bring a weapon with you, that he said if you brought the weapon, any weapon with you, and you were attacked, basically, you could not claim self-defense if you used that weapon. That is wrong. That is factually wrong. Now, if you take a weapon with you, let's give you an example. Say you're a female in your mid-twenties who works a late shift at whatever job you do, and you have a concealed carry permit to carry a weapon, and your car breaks down. So you have to walk to either a bus station or a bus stop or say you're walking home because you don't have the money for an Uber or a taxi and you get attacked. According to the DA or prosecutor in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, even if you're attacked because you brought that weapon, you cannot claim self-defense. So what he's saying is if you're a female and you carry a gun and some guy tries to rape you, you better let him do it because if you shoot him, you cannot claim self-defense. That's a lie. You can claim self-defense. But if the jury says that this kid, and he is a kid, had no right to shoot someone that was attacking him, Self-defense is out the window for everyone across this country. Provocation. I believe that's the word they're using now. Um, did he provoke people by him being there because he had a weapon? Well, since we've already seen the videos with numerous people carrying weapons, I kind of doubt that was provocation. You know, if anything, the provocation would have been the rioters and the looters showing up to this town and starting their shit. That was provocation. They started it. You know, this kid didn't start it. So provocation's out the window. He did not provoke anyone by him being there. You know, they tried to use, this kid came from another state, blah, blah, blah. He has family that lives in that town. He works in that town. His father lives there. His brother lives there. Apparently, he lives with his mom like eight miles out of town, just across state lines. So he had every right to be there. His father lived there. His brother lived there. His, he worked there. The people that didn't have the right to be there were the rioters and the looters. And you're going, well, it was over black people dying at the hands of cops. Okay, we're going to use George Floyd case to prove the prosecutor lied again. The prosecution talked about you don't bring a gun to a fist fight. Um, they didn't shoot George Floyd. Hell, they didn't even beat the guy up. A cop knelt on his back and hit the back of his neck and his shoulder blade. And this cop went to jail. He got charged for murder. So if all you have to do is basically touch someone and they die, they can die. Then the guy chasing Rittenhouse, that's immediate self-defense. If all this guy had to do was touch him, and then, guess what? You can die by being touched 
you can die by a knee to the back or the back of the neck, which we all know was bullshit. George Floyd was a fucking drug addict who had drugs in his system. He OD'd. And it bothers me so much in this country that y'all pick these punk-ass thugs to make martyrs. You always do. And the fact that police kill more white people every year, unarmed white people, than black people, oh, that has nothing to do with it. Because white people make up a greater percent of the population. That's true. But black people commit most of the violent crimes in this country. I'm not going to go into specifics on that. I'm talking about self-defense here. But as you saw in George Floyd's case, if you can die, apparently, by just somebody putting a little weight on you, then somebody putting their hands on you can kill you. And the statistics show that more people die by hands and feet than by AR-15s. Let's get back to self-defense. If this jury says self-defense does not apply when someone is chasing you and trying to harm you, there goes the defense of every battered woman out there that kills the guy that's battering them. If self-defense does not apply if somebody's hitting you or hits you over the head and is hitting you with a piece of wood or whatever that skateboard was made out of, which I would have loved to have seen a one member of this jury go, Your Honor, I, why wasn't the skateboard introduced into evidence? Because I would really like to be able to examine that. And go, you know what? Jury room, bring the skateboard back here. Bring us a watermelon. We're going to swing this and see what it does. A skateboard and the back of the head can kill you. No different than a baseball bat, a 2x4, or any other piece of wood. Self-defense right there immediately. But no, if a person points a loaded gun in your face, at your head, and you shoot them, that's immediate self-defense. But no, one of the prosecution's own star witnesses admitted that he drew a gun on this kid before the kid shot him. But y'all were charging the kid with the crime of defending himself. Now, I understand jurors are probably scared. Uh, what's going to happen if we say not guilty to this kid? They're going to burn our damn city down. Here's the problem with your way of thinking. If you believe this kid is innocent, you're willing to send an innocent kid to prison for pretty much 40, 50 years because you're scared. You're willing to ruin somebody's life because you're scared. You know what? Grow a pair of fucking balls and stand up to these damn rioters, these looters, and these thugs. Because if you don't, every time they don't like something you do, they're going to come out and threaten to destroy your city. Self-defense. I have been watching this entire trial every damn day. They're like on day five, I believe, four or five of jury deliberation. Everything I've seen that they played in that courtroom, and they have played everything, from the prosecution to defense. Everything states self-defense, 100%. There's no doubt about it. Should that kid have been there? It's irrelevant. It's a free country. You can go where you want. He did not take a gun across state lines. The weapon he had in his hands was legal for him to have. Irrelevant. Now, you have to ask yourself something. If a bunch of people come to my, my town and start looting 
rioting, burning shit down, am I going to cower in a corner or I'm going to get out there and stop it? If you're smart, you'll stop it. But, what happens if this jury comes back and says, well, we think the kid did self-defense, but because we don't want our city to burn, we're going to lock him up. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's really dry today. What happens? There's seven women on this jury. That's where the screw-up is. Most men think logical. They see the evidence. They'll react to the evidence. Okay, this is self-defense. This is self-defense. Now, a guy who already threatened this kid is chasing him down, screaming racist remarks, and going for this kid's gun. That's immediate self-defense. Women do not think logically. They think emotionally. Well, what happens if I declare not guilty and the rioters come back? You know what? You shoot the fucking rioters. You grow a goddamn pair of balls. You tell the DA to fuck off. You tell the prosecutor, you know what? These fuckers came to my house. Y'all did nothing. Your cops did nothing. Your mayors did nothing. Your governors did nothing. I have every right under the Constitution to protect myself and my family and my property. This judge, you can tell he's a Democrat judge. He has given so much leeway to the prosecution. They violated the Constitution. They have lied in court. They have made shit up. They didn't turn over all evidence to the defense. And what they did turn over was altered. Wow. This judge should immediately declare it over. Mr. You know, complete exoneration. This kid needs to go free, and it's with prejudice, so you can't retry it. So, What's this case mean? If this kid goes to jail for self-defense, it means every woman out there that carries a gun, guess what? According to this prosecutor, you don't have the right to carry that gun. And if you do carry that gun for protection, if you shoot somebody that tries to rape you or harm you, you committed the crime because you brought the gun. I don't understand how so many people in this country can be so blind and stupid at the same time. I don't know if the jury's come back with a verdict yet. But I do know this will set precedent in the courts. It'll mean that the district attorney can lie violate somebody's rights when the district attorney brought up the fact that Kyle Rittenhouse remains silent that's a basic right we have and what pisses me off is the media when you judge someone because you don't know the facts and you tell all your so-called supporters of media people media flunkies that this person is guilty of this, they're guilty of that, and then they're a white supremacist, which you had no evidence of at all. It pisses me off. That piece of fucking shit, Joe Biden, that loser, called this kid a white supremacist before he knew anything about this case. And you fucking... Flunky cocksuckers voted for him. Why? Because you have no brains. You have no common sense. And you don't care about this country. You don't care about our laws. You care about nothing but your 
civil social justice. If there is social justice in this world, let's think about this. In this country, we have colleges that are forced to take in certain races, forced. And so many of them. In this country, we have affirmative action. We have programs set up strictly for blacks. We have programs set up strictly for women. We have all this stuff for minorities and if you ask kids on college campuses shouldn't somebody have to get in on merit by their grades or how well they can do every one of these stupid kids is gonna say no they should be admitted because their race you know then you look at sports teams. Here's what gets me. You look at sports teams. And they'll say, oh, it shouldn't be on race. It should be on how good they are. That's where you're screwing up. You can't have it both ways. Either you have it by race, a number amount of people by race, or you have it by skill. Most sports teams I've seen are pure black, or pretty close to it. Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing wrong against, you know, against uh, sports teams that have all black people. If they got the skill, good for them. But did they get in college under affirmative action? Think about it. We have more black millionaires in this country than every race combined other race combined because more blacks are in sports and are millionaires by doing sports. We had a black president. Now Obama was a dirtbag, but you can't tell me this country is racist. And you can't tell me this kid who is defending himself should go to prison. Because if that's the case, Every woman out there that's being raped and she kills her attacker should go to prison. There's no difference. If someone is attacking you, I don't care if you're male or female, you should have the right to defend yourself. This case has got set precedent. And when it does, women need to think about this. If this kid goes to jail or prison, for defending himself. What happens to me if I have to defend myself against a rapist, an attacker, or whatever, or some guy just trying to beat the crap out of me? Guess what? You should go to prison. By the prosecutor's way of thinking in this case, you have no right to self-defense if you brought a gun with you. I don't understand the this jury. I have seen everything they have seen. I have watched this case daily. They have broadcast it. You're talking about hours upon hours upon hours. The judge should have threw the case out, first of all, just for the uh, prosecutor lying about the self-defense rules. The judge should have threw the case out because... When the prosecution turned over the video to the defense, it was cut short and a lower quality where he could barely make it out. And then, the one thing that gets me, they're going after this kid for pointing a gun at people. Just pointing the gun. Now think about that. They didn't say that the gun had to be loaded. They're going after him for pointing a gun at people. Hmm. Wow. The prosecutor did the same thing. Why isn't his ass in cuffs? That prosecutor took that weapon, pointed it straight at the jury. Why isn't he charged? <clears throat> Why 
Women need to think about what's going to happen. If the self-defense rule doesn't apply, because one, you had a weapon, which is a lot of women in this country, they carry a weapon for protection. And if that doesn't apply because you brought that weapon, see, the DA lied about that, uh, prosecutor lied about that. Even if you bring a weapon, if somebody attacks you, you have a right to self-defense if you use that weapon. That was a lie. But every woman out there needs to be leery about this case. Because if it comes back that you can't carry a weapon and defend yourself, or you committed the crime, I feel sorry for the women out there going, shit. So I can't carry my gun to protect myself because if I do, I committed a crime and the attacker is now the victim. And I'll go to prison for 40 years. If it happens to this kid, who was 17 at the time this happened, a kid, if this is happening to this kid, it will happen to you as a grown-ass female. And if it doesn't, well, then we don't have equal rights under this country. You have more rights. A skateboard is a deadly weapon. Especially if you've ever been hit by one. Ask any guy or girl, anyone who's ever tried doing a skateboard, going down a damn ramp, and slip, and that skateboard hit him in the head. And that's not very much force, but you definitely could get a migraine from that, and... Be seriously hurt. A skateboard is a weapon. A gun is definitely a weapon. And that was their star prosecution witness. Oh yeah, he didn't fire until I pointed my gun at his head. Why was it their star witness charged with bringing a gun? You know, I don't know if there is a verdict. I know there are seven women on this jury. Women do not think logically. They think emotionally. This is either going to be a guilty verdict, which it shouldn't be, because they're scared their city is going to burn. Even if you come back and say guilty on a lower charge, your city's going to burn unless somebody stands up and does something. Or it's going to be a hung jury. And it'll be a hung jury most likely because there are men on that jury going, no, we're not going to send this kid to prison for 40 years for defending himself. I hope this goes good for this kid. His mistake wasn't taking a gun wasn't shooting these people that were coming after him. That wasn't his mistake. His mistake was giving a shit about his community and trying to save people's property. Trying to save people's lives. That was his mistake. Because he was there to do first aid for people on both sides. That actually came out in court. He was there to do good. And some bad people who you pieces of fucking shit always make martyrs out of attacked him. Why do you always choose the worst human beings on the planet to make martyrs? You know, I have yet to see the father of three that was walking to the store and got shot in a drive-by into a martyr. I have yet to see that. You know, father walking to the store get diapers. And then some ass drives up and shoots him in the street. Why don't you put that type of person a martyr? 
You pick these thunk, punk ass thug criminals to make martyrs out of. Then you made this whole case about race. You got a white kid who shot three white people who were attacking the white kid. How the hell is this about race? And then there, I've heard this on like MSNBC, CNN. Well, it was a Black Lives Matter rally, so that makes it about black people. Uh, the first white person that attacked this kid was screaming the N-word. I don't think he was there to support black people. The prosecutor should lose their law license immediately and be charged. One for violating the Constitution and Rittenhouse's civil rights because he remains silent. Bringing that up in court is a strict violation. Two, the prosecutor, prosecutor should lose their job and be charged for pointing a gun at the jury. Three, the prosecutor, prosecutor, you can tell I'm upset, should be charged with not supplying the same evidence to the defense. You know, just because you're a lawyer doesn't mean you can lie in court. Why the hell isn't this prosecutor been charged with lying in court? He said, if you have a weapon, you took the weapon, you cannot claim self-defense. That is a lie by our laws. This case should be dismissed with prejudice. This prosecutor should not have another chance at this. This prosecutor should be sitting in jail. And for all you women, you better think about what this case means. If you can no longer claim self-defense, if you brought the weapon with you. There are a lot of piece of shit guys out there who will take advantage of that. So what are you going to do? If someone came to my house and tried to burn my house down, would I kill them? Absolutely. If they, someone tried chasing me, trying to do me bodily harm, that'd be the last thing they, they ever did. We have self-defense for a reason. But apparently, liberals don't like self-defense. Liberals don't like the cops unless they're using them. You have politicians who come out with verdicts before the facts are known. You have a dirtbag piece of shit president who called this kid a white supremacist when there was no proof or evidence of it at all. And if he was, if they found anything at all against this kid, it would have came out in court. The, the prosecution sure as hell would have made sure of that. So what's this mean? If they come back with a guilty verdict, then every woman out there knows if I carry a gun for protection and I shoot someone that tries attacking me or raping me, I'm guilty of murder. So you have a choice. You can either shoot the bastard or you can let him rape you. According to the prosecution in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, you best let him rape you. Because you brought that gun. That means you can't claim self-defense. I was going to do this video a few days ago. Talking about this case. But my girlfriend's been off of work for the past few days. 
and I don't make videos when she's home. Because if I got her on camera, she would kill me. Then I'd be the one dead. But I have been watching this case very closely. Because it has to do, one, your constitutional rights. Two, protecting yourself. And three, how stupid juries are. This was a clear-cut case of self-defense in every attack that this, that this kid was attacked. Just because he was there doesn't mean the self-defense is thrown out the window. He had a legal weapon. Not illegal, like the prosecution first said. The gun he carried was considered a rifle, long barrel, and legal for him to possess. Now I'm pretty sure you heard on the news he brought an illegal gun across state lines, which he did not do. The gun was purchased in Kenosha. He did not bring it with him. That came out in the trial. So, he legally possessed a weapon that he could legally own, legally carry. Sounds like a handgun and some woman's purse, huh? If I lived in one of these cities that were getting burned to the ground, would I go out there and stop it? You're damn straight. Here's what gets me. Since George fucking Floyd, that piece of fucking shit that you made a martyr out of, his fucking riots... It's like 25 people have died. Is that what you want to be known for? BLM? Is burning, looting, and murdering? Because that's what you're doing. I agree. A peaceful protest, I have no issues with. But when you go to a city or town and you start fires... And you attack people. I have a huge issue. Come to my town. You won't like the response. I live in Montana. A lot of people here carry guns. And a lot of people here believe. In protection of yourself. Protection of your property. And for even protection of your community. And. Most of the judges here would have looked at the Kyle Rittenhouse case and said, there's no way in hell I'm letting you bring this crap in my court. It was a clear-cut case of self-defense. Or they would have dismissed it with prejudice as soon as the witness said, well, yeah, the other guy was chasing the kid, attacking the kid, and then the other guy would just skateboard attack the kid while he's running away. And then I went up there with a gun and put a gun in the head, you know. Any judge in the world that was not a Democrat judge, that was a fair judge, would have said, nope, case dismissed, case over. This kid could go to prison for 40 fucking years for defending himself. Women, you need to think about that. So when you're out somewhere and you're walking on the street, some guy drags your ass into an alley, you better not pull that gun. You better let him fuck you however he wants because if you pull that gun and shoot him, according to the prosecutor in this Kyle Rittenhouse case, you took the gun. That makes you the aggressor. You shot somebody. It doesn't matter what he was doing doesn't matter how violent he is being with you, you can't claim self-defense. This jury is just ordinary people, and I get that. But instead of being cowards, they need to look at the evidence and facts that everyone else has seen. I have been watching this damn trial every fucking day. 
I have seen the prosecutor blow it time and time again, violate the rights of the defendant. I have seen them turn over evidence that wasn't right. So, what does that mean for self-defense in this country if this kid is convicted? It means you no longer have a right to protect yourself if you brought a weapon. It doesn't matter if it's a gun, a knife, a baseball bat. If I can kill you with a fucking fork, and guess what? That would be a weapon. If you bring the weapon, according to the prosecutor in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, you can't claim self-defense. But see, that's a lie. But if this kid goes to prison for this because he brought the weapon, that says precedent. That means any court in the world, well, in America, can go, well, you know what? You had the gun on you. And you shot your rapist. That makes them the victim. So you're going to prison for murder. Because since you brought that gun, you can't claim self-defense. I've been ranting for almost 40 minutes. Like I said, I don't know if the juries come back. I don't think they will. I think we have a hung jury in this case. Because there's... Four men back there, and I guarantee at least one of them men is going, one that one man is going, it's not logical. It doesn't make sense. The kid defending himself. I'm not sending some innocent kid to prison for 40 years just because I'm afraid of some fucking rioters. Sorry again. Well, that kind of went down the wrong way. Think about what this case means. Think about what it means to you. All they have to do is make it to where if you took a weapon with you, you can't claim self-defense. Then they can make it, if you have a weapon in your home, you can't claim self-defense. Where does it stop? If this kid gets convicted, and it sets precedent, that if you take a weapon with you, you can't claim self-defense, there are going to be a lot of female victims out there. That should never happen. I believe everyone has a right to protect themselves from violence or harm. But if you come to my house with violence, you'll get violence back. This kid was doing no violence when he was attacked. He did not instigate it. He did not start it. He did not provoke it. But yet they're trying to make the kid out to be like a mass shooter or some psychopath because he defended himself. Females out there, especially you, need to think about what this is going to mean for you. If I carry a gun to protect myself, I can no longer claim self-defense if some guy tries to rape me or assault me if I shoot the guy. Because I brought the gun with me. According to this prosecutor, that nullifies self-defense. And if this prosecutor gets away with this in court, other prosecutors will try it. And they'll go, but your honor, this case shows that if you bring a weapon, 
You can't claim self-defense. You know, I am so sick and tired of all this stuff that's going on. Media lies. Don't believe any media. That's the point. I don't even believe Fox News. Since Disney bought into Fox, Fox has turned to shit. I don't believe Fox. I don't believe CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC. None of them. I believe the evidence. I don't make judgments until I see the facts. This kid was self-defense all the way. But if they make it to where, well, this kid took a gun there, even though he got it in Kenosha, he brought the gun. That means he can't claim self-defense. That means every woman out there that carries a gun for self-defense, you're screwed. You better let that rapist rape you. You better let the guy that's trying to mug you or assault you, assault you and mug you. Because if you shoot him, you're going against what the court is ruling in this Rittenhouse case. This judge is a dirtbag. This judge, as soon as the prosecutor, prosecutor said that, she said, eh, stop. That is not the law. But he didn't. I swear, even the defense should have stopped that immediately. They didn't. And if they're going after this kid for pointing a gun at people, which is what they're saying in court, then the prosecutor needs to be in handcuffs today. Charged with pointing a gun to those jurors. Think about what self-defense means. Think about what this will do if they get away with this that you can no longer claim self-defense if you took a gun with you ladies I hope you're ready for the repercussions that are gonna happen because a lot of people out there that carry weapons for protection are females Everything in this case, the Kyle Rittenhouse case, says self-defense 100%. The provocation for all this was the rioters and looters showing up at Kenosha from out of state and other places. It wasn't the kid that started this. It was the rioters and the looters and the scumbags that showed up and were destroying the town. Alright, this is almost 45 minutes long. I'm fixing to go. I'm fixing to check on uh, the case and see what's happening. But think about what this means for you. How this case will affect you. Because if they let this slide, what this prosecutor has done, and they let this slide to where they say, if you brought that weapon with you, you can't claim self-defense. Half the women out there that carry a gun to keep from getting raped, you better just let them rape you. Because if you don't and you shoot your rapist, you can't claim self-defense. Alright, that's everything I have to say on this so far today. I will probably do another video after the verdict comes out and talk about that. A lot of people are talking about it. But... Think about what this means for self-defense and for you and your family. What this means for every woman out there that carries a gun to protect herself. What happens when they say you brought that gun with you, you can't claim self-defense, even if someone was attacking you or trying to harm you or trying to kill you or trying to rape you. You brought the gun, you can't claim self-defense, 
That's what the prosecutor is saying. But it, it, it seems kind of funny. They're not going after their star witness that had a gun illegally. They're not charging him with that. This is political. Politics needs to stay out of the court system. Politics needs to stay out of the laws that are already on the books and written. Politics needs to stay out of all of this. And that piece of fucking shit Joe Biden? Fuck him. He called this kid a white supremacist. There's no evidence of that. White people are getting really sick and fucking tired of you fucking liberal assholes and black people calling us white supremacists when we're not. And we're getting tired of it. And a lot of us are ready for this civil war. We're waiting for it. Because we're getting tired of it. Don't blame us for something. One, that we didn't do. Two, don't accuse us of something we're not. We're getting sick of it. But as far as the case, as far as the Kyle Rittenhouse case, if the prosecutor gets their way, your right to remain silent is gone. Your right to carry a weapon is gone. And your right to defend yourself with a weapon is gone. This is the problem with juries. Seven women? I guarantee you, it's some guy in there hanging that jury. I hope it's a woman too. I really do. I hope it's some mom going, wait a minute, if somebody attacked my kid and they defended themselves, would my kid be sitting in this courtroom being charged? Fuck the grocery store down the road. I don't give a shit about that. They got insurance. But if, if my kid was attacked, would the DA, or pr the prosecutors, DA go after my child for defending themselves against someone trying to harm them? Any parent in the world would think the same thing, except for liberal parents. They're fucking morons. All right, that's it. I'm fixing to go. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate it. Feel free to leave comments. But according to the prosecutor and the Kyle Rittenhouse case, apparently you can't have the right to remain silent because he brought that up in court, which is a violation of the Constitution. You have no rights going anywhere other than your city you live in or town you live in even if you have family in the town you're visiting or working at you have no right to be there you have no right to carry a legal weapon that is legal for you to carry and you have no right to defend yourself against being violently attacked even though someone has already threatened you here's the thing this guy said he was going to kill this kid if he saw him again. And then he went after him. That came out in court. If somebody threatened a Democrat senator, FBI would be at their door. Homeland Security be at their door. Secret Service be at their door. You threaten the fucking president, who's a dirtbag piece of shit, you'd probably be sitting in jail. Uh, January 6th was nothing but a riot. People are in jail. But none of these fucking rioters, looters, and arsonists, and murderers are in jail. From all these protests. Self-defense is on the line. Your right is on the line to carry a gun to protect yourself. Okay, I'm fixing to go 50, almost 50 minutes. I apologize. Like I said, you can agree or disagree with me. But thanks for watching. Bye.